Ladies and gentlemen, this is the president of the Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky. And he was actually on a phone call with European leaders on Thursday, and he was saying goodbye to him. He said he probably will not be alive too much longer. So he did this phone call with them in a bunker. 44-year-old leader made a chilling warning on a video call with the EU leaders Thursday, sources told Axios. And the Financial Times, just before he publicly stated that he was Russia's number one target. And, you know, ladies and gentlemen, they're in there killing civilians, so they're not going to have a problem catching up to this man. So one of those calls, the Swedish prime minister also told um, TT News Agency and the EU leaders knew when to say goodbye, that they might not see him again. Zelensky, who appeared to address the other leaders from a bunker, vowed to remain in Kiev, even as it came under siege. And as he conceded that the Russians want to destroy Ukraine politically by taking down the head of state. Mm -hmm. The enemy has designated me as target number one and my family as target number two, he said. Despite the reports warning Zelensky made a defiant video hours later Friday appear with four key cabinet members in the darkened streets of Kiev, where, um, and here, we are in Kiev, we defend uh, Ukraine, he said. All right, so they already admitted, y'all, they can't fight the Russians from airstrikes. They can't do it. You know, they have a better chance if it became a ground war. They said they have a better chance of making it. But if they do all of these airstrikes, they said they have no way of fighting it. So the only thing Joe Biden has done was come forward to uh, put more sanctions on them. And, you know, at the end of the day, what is that really going to do? Nobody is listening to the U.S. anymore. And number two, what what is Putin going to do? He's already in there. What do you think he's going to do? Oh, the U.S. put more sanctions on me? Oh, man, let, let's put everything in reverse and get out of here. He's not going to do that. He's not going to stop until he gets what he wants. He's not going to stop. You know, when I woke up this morning, y'all, I looked at a video and I was looking at this car that was completely flattened. It was a black car and it was just completely flattened. They said a Russian tank spotted this car and the passenger and the driver, the driver was in the car and they rolled over the car and crushed it with the driver in it. So yeah, so they don't care who they go after. And, and and they were saying they are literally killing anyone in their sight. So <clears throat> he had earlier also posted an indoor video shaming European leaders as well as the U.S. for the lack of assistance. Yeah, I know a lot of the people are saying they blame the U.S. for underestimating Putin. They didn't take him serious enough. So, and they feel that's why he was able to easily just go in there and invade on them because nobody was taking it seriously. Oh, everybody will go home. This will just blow over. Well, that didn't happen. And the fact that you're sitting around making all these sanctions on him tells me you never had no plan in the first place. You didn't have no plan. So this morning, we are defending our country alone, the president said. 
uh, second morning of the all out war, according to translation by CNN. Just like yesterday, the most powerful country in the world looked on from a distance, he said. He's talking about Biden. That's what he's talking about. Biden. Zelensky directly likened the assault on his nation, which focused on the capital of Kiev on Friday, to what Europe already witnessed during World War II. Europe said never again, but here we are, he said, warning that Russia's invasion was the beginning of a war against Europe, accusing Europe nations of being in no hurry to help. He urged people to demand from your governments more financial, more military assistance to Ukraine. How are you going to help yourself when you help us so slowly in Ukraine? This is what he said on the phone call. He even encouraged any Europeans with combat experience to ignore the indecisions of politicians and come to our country and join us in defending Europe. He insisted that Europe has enough strength to stop the aggression, noting a slew of measures not yet used. And, you know, another thing that I saw, I saw a shot of a big crowd of people that went down into the subway, hoping to get away from all the shelling and airstrikes that are going on. Visa cancellations for Russians, cutting them from SWIFT, a total isolation of Russia, recalling ambassadors embargo on uh, petroleum, imposing a no-fly zone. This must be in the table. This is what Zelensky said. Zelensky did, however, praise Sweden for giving military, uh, technical, and humanitarian assistance, saying they were building an anti-Putin coalition together. So it, out of all the countries, it was just one he praised, and that was Sweden. So everybody, of course, this thing is intensifying, and Russia is moving all through that country. You know, they're not just going to one location. So you can see this is a total takeover, you know, and... Y'all gonna have to tell me what you think about this one, you know, but I think what he is saying is true. I think if the Russian soldiers are able to get a hold of him, they're gonna assassinate him. They are. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Before I end, I do want to say one more thing. I think... And this may not happen now, and this is my opinion and my opinion only, I think eventually Joe Biden is going to send the U.S. military in there. I do. You know, he's talking all the sanctions, but you can't tell me he's not sitting behind the scenes putting that as an option. I believe he is, but he's not going to come public and say it. Again, that's my opinion, but y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. And y'all remember, we have many in our community that are part of the military. I got military members in my own family. And so no matter what, there's no way around it. Our people will be part of this whole thing somehow, you know, whatever way it turns out. Peace, family.